Welcome everybody. I am Bill Courtright and thank you for joining me today on this episode of the Stress Mastery Podcast, Living Right with Bill Courtright, where we take you from the science to the spirituality of stress management. Hello and welcome back to the Stress Mastery Podcast. I am Bill Courtright and I am here with Secret Santa, Super Millennial, David Barreto. How you doing, Secret Santa? I'm doing all right. How you, you doing? doing? Ready? Yeah, I guess so. Let's all do it. All right. So this week, our focus is on denial. And today during Meeting of the Minds, we will discuss why stress management makes stress worse. That should be interesting, right? That does it, right? You ready? Let's do it. As we end 2017 and begin to enter 2018, health will be making its annual appearance. Am I right? Mm -hmm. That's when it makes its appearance. We set New Year's resolutions. We set goals with the intention to take back our health, to finally lose that weight, to start exercising, and yes, to manage stress. So stress, when we had the clinics, David, check me if I'm right or wrong, stress was the number one complaint we heard. Number one in the clinics. Patients came in with all kinds of diagnoses and ailments, but stress was a common complaint of just about every single patient. If they didn't say it directly, it came out as they explained it. Oh, I can't diet because I have so much stress at work. Like, well, there you go. Yeah. I have so much stress at home or something like that. Every it always fell down to stress. single patient from young to old, it was stress. You know, and I'll tell you, stress is a costly and growing epidemic. And it's happening in workplaces around the world. The latest studies show that 8 out of 10 Americans are stressed about their jobs. You know, and think about why. As the technology advances, the workplace stress increases. As the job demands become greater with shorter deadline periods, faster industry changes and paradigm shifts, longer hours, it's now where stress is kind of becoming the trend, right? Mm -hmm. And here's the thing. Compensation is not following the increased workload. No. So we want you to work more, but we don't want to pay you anymore. And if you don't want to work more, guess what? They'll find a millennial. <laughs> that'll do it. No, I'm exactly right though, right? They'll find somebody to do it. So this stress moves from the workplace to the home. As a recent survey found that stress over money is preventing many Americans from living healthy lifestyles as they try to cope with stress using unhealthy behaviors like smoking or drinking alcohol or binge eating. The same survey reported that stress levels were causing depression or affecting their romantic relationships. And I'm just going to leave it there. Okay? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to, let's not get into details on that. So the American Psychological Association stated that money is the top cause of stress. In 2013, Gallup announced that 70% of the American workforce was disengaged. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Disengaged. That means they're drawing on pieces of paper, they're on social media, they're on, you know, they're on their phones, they're texting, but they're not working. I defend the drawing on paper. Because you're drawing on paper right now. <laughs> and, and the World Health Organization estimated workplace stress costing, are you ready for this, David? It's costing American businesses up to $300 billion a year. When those people ask why do we need personal development in like corporations and stuff like that, that should be enough. Well, what, what are we getting calls recently? Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, well, yeah. Wow, now everybody's coming so in. So when people the, used to ask yeah, that, like, oh, I need to find out how to save uh, money. The corporations are calling right now because they're looking, and we're going to talk about that a little bit because they're looking for some answers. So the World Health Organization also stated that stress is the health epidemic of the 21st century. This is the World Health Organization saying, so it's not just America. They're talking about worldwide. So before I get into the solution for all of this, it's important that we are aware of another epidemic brewing. And this is really important. 
and it's teenage stress. In, in a survey by the American Pediatric Association, they found that 30% of teens reported feeling sad or depressed. Another 35% reported that stress caused them to lay awake at night. And 26% said stress caused them to overeat and consume healthy foods. The main stress was school and trying to get into a good college. I just want to, just want to put it in there. school and parents yeah. because the, the getting into a good college is the expectation. Usually yeah. the parents well, because will fall down the tribalization. That tribalization has. process. So that study stated that a good diet and exercise, more sleep, and mindfulness could help. Right. It could. The problem is people don't understand it. I really think they don't understand it. So we are talking this week on denial, right? And we are, we are not in denial that we have stress. And stress management would seem to be the answer, right? Yeah. Wrong. I know exactly where we're going with this. <laughs> Wrong. So I've spent the last 35 years, I'm going to get into some deep stuff for you because I think it's important. We're talking about getting out of denial and we're going to be, we're setting up for 2018. In the last 35 years, my research on stress Someone, please show me a case where stress management worked. Any case, any case, show me because I haven't seen it yet. And stress, understand this, guys. I'm going to say this, and you guys are all going to throw it. Right now, you're turning off your radios. Stress isn't even real, it's programs, it's energies. How do you manage these? You can't, they're not real. So, It states, when you look up stress management, right, the best way to manage your stress is to learn healthy coping strategies. Now, why would you want to cope with stress? Wouldn't you want to get rid of the cause of stress? Doesn't that make more sense? So let's look at the American Heart Association stress management advice. This is the American Heart Association now, right? Their advice is stress management, number one. Have a good laugh. Good idea, though. They're right. Norman Cousins did a whole study on how he cured illness by laughing. What happens when we laugh, Dave? What would you say if you had to take it off the, the um, top of your head? What happens to our... Well, uh, I don't know. The easiest one is that when you're laughing and you're having a good time, you're not letting your ego have that time. It's you. And what part of the nervous system is turned on? The green you zone. Exactly. You're always in the green zone with See, it. Yeah. God, you're seeing it, right? So, But that's their stress management tool. I just want to say that. Now, number two, they say coach yourself to step away from the stressful situation. Now, we've learned enough here since we started last year, this year of podcasting, right? That when you're in a stressful situation and that energy is activated, it's taking you away. It ain't too easy to step away (laughs) because you're getting swept away in it, right? Just step away. Now my house is on fire. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk I'm just away. Gonna and walk let it away from it. it so. I'm, it'll be okay. So next, number three, they say prioritize your list. Prioritize your list. Believe me, when you are stuck in the red zone, you forget all about your list. You're stuck. It's like a record stuck, right? Next, they say go walking with a friend before you start the day. I like that advice. That's but, a really good one. But Again, that is not going to manage stress. And I'll explain why in a second here. It's not going to do it. Now, next, pump the brakes on stress before loading it on others. In other words, if you're a projector, try to pump the brakes before you load on top of that next person. And if you're a resistor, try to pump the brakes before you go into your passive aggressive cage. <laughs> in other words, it's stupid what they're giving us. I don't want to be blunt, but it's dumb what they're telling us because there's no science behind what they're saying. Then next they say, understand the purpose of stress. This is going to be good. You ready? American Heart Association, understand the purpose of stress. Emotions are signals to help recognize problems. Like a saber-toothed tiger. (laughs) Emotions are signals. They sure are. Their signal program is activated. That's what their signals of. A program is activated. And what they're saying is the emotions are signals to help recognize problems. Well, 
if your program's not a problem for me and you're stressed out, I don't understand. Your cage has that program. Mine doesn't. I don't get it. So how does that work? So this is the question is, whose problem? Whose perception of the problem and who's the program? And so that's it. So here's what they give you. They give you two steps. Good old American Heart Association. One of the most, you know, reputable organizations in medicine today. Step one, awareness of your high and low stress zones. And they got little pictures from one to ten. You know, what a load of crap. That's a load of crap. That's how you're supposed to tell. Not whether your body's handling stress or anything. No, look at the little pictures. Where is your... And then step two is learn to live in a lower zone. Really? <laughs> that's a <stop laughs> Yo, that's what, that is the American Heart Association Stress Management Program. So here are some other stress management tools that I found when I was researching for That's today's so show. Bad. It's unbelievable. It's like being content with feeling like shit. They like don't it's so bad. No, I mean, this is not, this is the top medical organization in the in the world. One of the top. That just that's why I want you guys to stay with us because what we're teaching you, it's going to be like you guys. If you really follow us. You're laughing at this right now because you're like, holy crap. So here's some other stress management tools I found. Breathe easily. That's good. Especially when you're really in a state of reaction. Visualize calm. Again, these are all pause plan most. They're good. Get a massage. Yeah, that might work. Try a tonic or some supplements. Smile. Focus on being proactive. <laughs> the Joker smiles all the time. I don't know. <laughs> the Joker smile. Uh, here's a good one. Journal. Count to 10. You know, my dad used to count to 10. It was never a good thing to happen. When I was going to say, usually when my dad used yeah. to count to 10, You're right. you better run. Yes. Uh, here's another one. Switch to decaf. Here's another stress matter too. Essential oils. Acupuncture. Walk. Schedule worry time. Worry I time. swear to God. Schedule worry time. You're going to have to give me a link so I can put it below so people so, can check this so out. So you got to see it, right? Uh, here's a good one right now. Munch on some snacks like pretzels, bagels, or crackers. <laughs> we'll get you out of stress. Uh, this is the one I like, sex. That works. Uh, <laughs> try, <laughs> <agree on something. laughs> try tea. Take a bath. All those can give you a second of calm, right? Practice mindfulness. That's a good one. Uh, goof off. You're good at that one. Um, yeah. uh, sit straight. And here's a good one. Make future plans. So that was some of the best stress management tools out I'll there. I'll do it later. So I started this episode that stress management makes stress worse. As you can see, we have countless of stress management tools and techniques. And stress is now, as I said earlier, reaching epidemic proportions. Those coming to the February Break Free event are going to be learning this information I'm about to give you in detail. Those that are coaching with us are learning this stuff in detail and those in the climber community, we are teaching you. And so let's get into this. And anybody who wants to debate it, I'm up for it. We just had a talk in South Carolina, and I put stress on trial, and it looked like uh, stress was voted what? Not real. It's an illusion. So that's where I will go with this. Stress is an illusion. How can we manage what is not real? Somebody tell me. How can we manage what is not real? So whatever we focus on, we strengthen. We focus on management. We don't focus on what is causing the stress. We strengthen the stress program. We might shut it off for a while. We might put a band-aid on it for a while. But, uh, right? I'm going to get into it in a second. I, I, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> stress comes. Remember this. You weren't born in overwhelm. You were not born with anxiety and you were not born in stress. Stress comes from programs. Programs, now hear me out very carefully because I'm going to run through this. Stress comes from programs. Programs cause emotions. Emotions cause a state. This state causes stress. Got it? Okay. Remove the program. Remove the emotion. Change the state. No more stress. 
Does that make sense? Yes. Would you like me to repeat it? No, it's just you get rid of it, you can't have it's it. It's everything just, I mean, else, right? Why are we a society of damn band-aids? I don't understand. Because personally, I never want to go back to being in stress. I just don't want to live like that. It's a horrible life to live. And people, here's the challenge. People think it's normal. People yeah. think, well, everybody got stress, Bill. Well, not everybody. I don't. So you guys go ahead and keep your keep your programs over there. Yeah, and even if you have stress and you're working towards it, you're not trying to manage it. You're not trying you're to trying master it. You're trying to master it. it. Yeah. And that's the next point. You got it, David. The key is stress mastery, not management. Having a nice massage is nice, right? It's calming. You feel relief, but... Let's say you live in a beta state, level one, with a strong anger energy, predominant energy anger, and a predominant want of control. So you had your nice massage. You come out. Oh, Guido, thank you for the massage. It was the most wonderful time. I feel so wonderful. You're walking out of the spa. So you leave the spa and you get into the car and there's an accident. Bumper to bumper traffic. You have another appointment and you're late. What happens next get another massage <laughs> so much for the massage and the stress management it's gone <laughs> do you see my point i'm not saying massages are bad i'm not saying all those techniques are bad they're techniques but they're not going to relieve what's causing the epidemic it's a worldwide epidemic so the key to mastering stress is First, you got to understand stress and the survival responses. Man, we can say it over and over again. And sometimes David says, Bill, you got to stop talking about it because I'm sick of hearing it. Well, I don't know what to tell anybody because it just seems like they don't get it. And the people that do, man, they will tell you how their life has changed. They will come right out and tell you. You have to understand stress and the survival responses. Number one is the physical stress response. Understand this. It's a hormonal survival response. It never shuts off, can only be man managed or mastered by proper diet and exercise. The mastery of this response allows the other stress mastery techniques like a massage, meditation, journaling to work. See, because it's the management or the mastery of the stress response that determines what part of the nervous system is activated. You are either in the red, stressed out, parasymp or, I'm sorry, sympathetic nervous system, you're reactive, you're either in the past or the future, or you're in the green zone, in the parasympathetic nervous system where you're calm and you have wellness. You're in one or the other. So, if they come out with the massage, right, and everything's cool and they're in the green zone, if automatically the first thing that happens, flip back to the red zone, what did they accomplish? Nothing. Zero. If the stress response is imbalanced, you get stuck in the reactive red zone. This is what we're going to be talking about in the webinar in January. This is what we teach in coaching. This is what we're going to be doing in the event. Get ready, everybody, because we're going to be getting you out of that. That's the purpose of the blood work. We must. We must repurpose our diet. Your diet has one purpose, to manage that response. And everybody's body's just a little bit different. With me? Mm -hmm. Number two, on stress, tribalization. The programs from our culture, society, our country, our religion, our education, our family, including Uncle Joe and Aunt Betty. All of them have programmed us, right? And these programs are a survival process because they put us into a beta state. Level one energy, survival energies, and it's called the ego. This is your self-concept. Stress management, understand, is pampering and enforcing the ego to become stronger. The statement, I am so stressed out, is music to the ego's ears. <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah, let, me, let me add a little bit. We got to fulfill that prophecy that you're so stressed out. Stress mastery is taking these programs apart and releasing the ego by raising our state of consciousness. In the beta state, level one, your body, you're stuck in earth, you're stressed out. When you start going in alpha, and that's what you were just talking about, David, in alpha state, you're in emotions. You're in water. You go from stress to calm, to stress to calm, to stress to calm. But 
you are working towards stress mastery. That's not stress management, right? You might have to go get a massage, but then you hit the traffic and the difference is you react, but you see the reaction and you stop the process. That's stress mastery. You're removing the program that's causing you to get anger. If that program comes out, that massage will work. You know why? Because if there's no anger program, you don't care if you're stuck in traffic. It's just another thing happening to you in the moment. So we have to be an alpha. We have to be able to go up and down an alpha because that takes us to theta. And in theta state, you are now controlling the mind, the ego. You're in air. We are calm and we master stress. The outside circumstances no longer affect your inner being. This is what's happening. Things are still happening in your life. You're still stuck in traffic. You're just not reacting. That's what real stress management should be. But you can't have stress management without the right diet and exercise. You realize that. That's why they're the first two steps of stress mastery. So in a delta state, we are either enlightened or dead. Either way, there's no stress. You hear it? Enlightened or dead? No stress. <laughs> okay? So we must learn all of this that we're talking about. How can you guys learn this? First of all, the podcast. We will always keep educating you. The webinars we give. We're always coming. We give you free webinars. I don't know. You know, we have pretty good turnout. But, man, we have thousands, hundreds of thousands of people following us. And we maybe have, what, 40, 50 people show up in a webinar? You guys really want to get out of stress or not? Free materials, a lot of free materials on our website. Go there. We got books. We got videos. We got all kinds of free materials. The Climber Community, invest in yourself. Coaching. Now, listen, I may have two coaching spots open in January that I thought were filled. So if you're interested in coaching with me and you're ready to really get out of stress, then contact David at livingrightwithbillcourtright.com and let's set up an interview. And even if you're not ready, let's set up an interview and set your 2018 on a course. But this came up this week. We were surprised. So that's kind of good, right? So events. Guys, not just my event. Awesome Palooza was great. It was a great event. You need to get out and you need to work on yourself. There was a gentleman there that doesn't know what he wants in life and he's going to be kind of, he keeps on bumping, he's going to live in stress. Because there's no direction where he's moving toward. So what does he do? He lives in this shook up self-concept. Does that make sense? So when we talk about, does that make sense to you, Dave, what I'm talking about? Yeah, he's like, creating his own stress. It's thank like, you. It's nothing that, thank like, when, you. I, when I look at it, it's like, so? Like, yeah. Yeah, we get out and work on yourself, right? So here are the seven steps of stress mastery, and we're going to get out of here because you've heard them a million times. Number one, diet. Come to the, come to the uh, webinar. Two is exercise. Got to exercise. Three, name your ego. That's how we detach. So think about it. That's how you're detaching from the energy being stuck in traffic and being stuck in the traffic jam. Let go technique, learning to surrender. So once you see that the ego's activated, you know how to surrender to it. And then green focus power hour is so important because that is what's going to put you in the alpha state and set the green zone. Once you get there... Then you start working on number six towards meditation because you want to move into theta because once you move into theta, you can go to step number seven. You can find it now. And when you're living in theta, you now don't have stress and you're moving toward delta. Does that make sense, David? Anything you want to add to that? Yeah, so easily, and I'm, I'm going to show the, the stress is an illusion thing right now because I actually had this conversation yesterday. Somebody was, I swear, on the edge of like, committing suicide because their stock dropped so much for me i don't care i don't have that stock so is his stress an illusion or is it because right. he's attached to it because it you. dropped and yeah. i was like so by the way if you can't handle that don't play stocks yeah no, i just gonna <laughs> yeah. say i mean but that's that's you know, the same thing yeah, like a firefighter running into a building is thing. so much less stressful but for me see, because, uh, for them than it is me but and he didn't have to be stressed exactly why, why is he stressed because one of the wants is activated the one of security yeah, he's or an attachment or to maybe the one of approval all the other people are seeing him lose this or maybe the one of belong he lost the tribe's money or the one of control and man when you have a one of control you should not be in the stock market the well you see what i'm saying but you see that stress is an illusion, people. You can't manage an illusion. You can manage the response, and that's only managed through diet. There's nothing else that manages that response. Nothing. The rest has to be done 
through personal development. So your companies that are calling us, and I'm just going to kind of run us over a little bit, David, because we have, we've had several companies calling us. They're looking to build wellness programs. Well, your wellness program is your stress mastery program or management program because that's the first key. If you can't get the diet right, you can't manage the nervous system. If you can't manage the nervous system, you cannot step outside the cage. If you can't step outside the cage, you can't get rid of the tribalization programs. And if you can't get rid of the programs, you're never going to get rid of the illusion you're of screwed. stress. Got it? Mm -hmm. That's it for today's show. I'm tired of being on my pulpit and I'm going to end it now because our mission is to create a shift in the planet. And if you want to join this mission, come on aboard, like, share, and subscribe. And are you ready there, Santa's elf? I don't know who you talk to. <laughs> yes. You're the biggest elf I've ever seen. And as always, until next time, stay, stay inspired. inspired.